guy loves Joy Sparkle BS and um, I gotta tell you I have <laughs> really not been looking forward to making this video. You see, I've been lying to you guys. I've been deceiving, deceptive, deceptor, deseparative, deceivingly, deceiving. You know, I've tried really hard to cultivate the, just the right image for you guys on YouTube. I've tried to show myself as a very calm, rational, soft-spoken, slowly worded individual. And I've tried my best to never raise my voice or be aggressive. I would like to, my, I'd like to think of myself as somebody very calm, very calm. Unfortunately, it's all an act. I've just been lying to everybody. I've tried to give this image of this good person that doesn't party, doesn't drink, doesn't do any drugs, and generally is a clean-natured person with no criminal history or criminal past. But that's not the case. And I feel like it's time that I come clean with you guys about my drug addiction. And you know the worst part? You can get so deep into an addiction, you don't even know that it's an addiction until the addiction addicts you with a dick. You just don't know. But if you think about it, and we go down the rabbit hole, What's in the word addiction? Dick. What's also in the word addiction? Add. So what does addiction mean? All addiction means is adding a dick. That's what I've been doing. You might ask yourself, why would I come clean now? Why would I not continue the ruse? It's because I've been outed. I just, I really thought I had him this time. I really thought I outsmarted him. But I can't. He's too intellectual for me. He's like playing with a master chess player. He's always 20 steps ahead. And granted, he's never been to college, never really had a job, and barely left his grandmother's basement and may or might not be dating a toothless hooker who's actually had addiction issues per him admitting it. He's way smarter than all of us. He got me and he'll get you too. So as a result, I've been outed and I feel like it's time to come clean. My name is Joy Sparkle BS and I'm a drug addict. And here's the evidence. Now, before we get into any evidence, you may be asking yourself, how was I found out? Who found me out? What? When was I found out? Why and, and how? And any other WH words that we can throw in there? Well, on a video today, so stupid, I outed myself. I outed myself on the video I did where I talked about being featured or cameoed in Shane Dawson's new video. I did it to myself. And you might be asking how. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you the evidence. Take a look. Okay, I love you guys. I'm going. I need to not film while I'm on cold medicine because I'm even crazier and goofier than normal. I don't know how this video is going to turn out. Bye guys! Oh, by the way, real quick, side note conspiracy theory. We always knew it. This is the evidence. Joy's been huffing cold medicine. We knew it all the time. Nobody can be that fat and that energetic, but before she was fat, she was just forcing it for her audience, but now we know she's just been on cold medicine. Hashtag confirm, bitches. Yes! Bye! <laughs> I just, oh, I feel so stupid. I feel so stupid. You saw the clever tricks I did, right? 
We'll go over those in a second, but I just can't believe how smart the person is that found me out. So let's look at the evidence from this amazing whistleblower. And let's see the genius that is the deductive reasoning skills of Jawid. I was featured in Shane Dawson's The World of Jake Paul video. Jawid writes, this is the behavior of a person that is high on pain pills, rambling on and on about who knows what, talking really fast and not making any sense. Cold medicine, quote unquote, as she tries to say is the reason for this odd behavior, doesn't make people act like how she was. There is absolutely no way that's because of cold medicine. If anything, it makes you the complete opposite of her behavior and knocks you out or just be normal as your symptoms are suppressed. It doesn't make you high and talk like you were on speed or crack. I know guys, I was just as surprised as you guys were to learn that not only am I a drug addict, I'm addicted to pain pills. And crack. And crack. and crack. And obviously, with Jared's immense amount of degrees and studying and experience in this, he must be right. So let's go ahead and take a look at some further evidence that my cold medicine is me being high on pain pills. And crack. Take a look. On the video where I talk about making a police report on that harasser Shane Dawson. Jared, Uber Spider writes, Jesus. This psycho woman has made over 80 videos in less than two months. Just over a month. Over 80 freaking videos! Yet she claims to be so sick. But then that's probably why she started to claim she cured her fibromyalgia. More like her fibromyalupus. This is not normal. Only people that would have this many videos are usually gamers that will take a two to three hour or more gaming session and break it up into smaller 20 to 30 mini parts. This just proves her quote health issues unquote parentheses other than her mental issues because those are obvious and front and center in all of her videos are complete bullshit. She just another opiate addicted junkie that makes BS claims that she's hurting for pain pills then abuses her prescriptions because she runs out and goes through withdrawals every two to three weeks which is usually the pattern on when she starts feeling bad and she says until she either scores some pain pills heroin or some other kind of opiate to get her feeling better until her normal refill dates. I don't know how the joy tards can just look past all the obvious signs, evidence, proof, and just believe her every word and her BS stories. But like I stated in other videos, if you've donated your money to her and it eventually comes out she has been scamming everyone and disappears, then you deserve to have been scammed and lost your money because that's your own dumbass fault for believing this psycho woman when the signs are right in front of everyone and we have been warning people and proving just how full of shit she is three dramatic dots at the end swan kelly writes if we've donated money how exactly would we be doing so sarah hamilton how do you know she's addicted to opiates? I'm genuinely curious. Has she ever admitted to a drug problem? Uber spider Jared writes to Sarah because she has said they gave her pain meds for her supposed fibromyalgia. And even back to when she was first on YouTube, she had the same pattern as far as being all well and full of energy. And two to three weeks later, she gets sick and blames her fibromyalgia 
and then starts giving too much into like having diarrhea and stuff like that. Which of course happens when you start withdrawing. And then when she is all fine and well, she is constantly scratching and rubbing her nose, arms, and face. She will even disappear sometimes for that week or two until she gets her refills again or any kind of like how she did this last week. She will go to the ER to try to get pills, but since they only give enough for like five days usually, she will only be better for a few days. Unless, of course, that's all she needs until her refill, question mark. Then if you look at her latest video talking about this Shane guy, talking about her yet again, she is high as fusk. She is high as fusk. High as fusk. And she is all over the place rambling and just being completely weird. Then at the end she tries to say it's because of cold medicine. Right. Lots of GHs and tea. Cold medicine doesn't do that to people. If anything, it does the complete opposite and knocks people out or doesn't do anything other than suppress the symptoms. But her most recent video have been completely obvious because she was fine prior and then she says she got sick and even said she went to the ER. And then she started being normal again for the most part. Well, normal for her. But you could tell she was just taking a small amount just to get by and not withdrawing as bad as she was. And then these last videos, she either scored more and able to take her usual amount to get that high feeling or was able to get her refills. Remember. <coughs> Remember, she just said a few weeks ago or so that she cured her fibromyalgia, quote unquote, but now has been saying it's acting up again, along with the flu, all of a sudden, it's just too convenient. And like I mentioned, it's the same pattern from last year when she was on YouTube. And that right there is the irrefutable, indisputable, another word, oodable, proof that I am a drug addict, I'm addicted to opioids or painkillers or hell, I guess I'm addicted to heroin and crack. And I didn't even know. I didn't even know this was a thing, guys. How could I have gone so long being an addict and not even knowing what I was an addict of? But again, Jared uses deductive reasoning. Do I have more to this post with the screenshots? I, I, it's based on deductive reasoning here, based on your conversation. That's not hard. That's not hard fact. Deductive reasoning isn't hard fact. And his conspiracy theories must be true because he's so much smarter than all of us. It's not like it's the fall and cold and flu season is going around. It's not like fibromyalgia fucks with your immune system. When you get sick with one thing, it can flare it up. No, no, no. It must be heroin. It must be. And I know this is going to be a little bit graphic, so I'm going to apologize ahead of time, but I thought it might be best to show you guys some of what I've been doing with my addiction. So I'm going to put down my, uh, my YouTuber props and show you what I've been doing. See all along, see this guys, I thought this was cold and flu medicine. That's what they told me at the pharmacy, but you know what? I think Walgreens is in on it and CVS. Hell, I think it's a whole conspiracy with the medical industry. They're trying to get me addicted. And this opiate heroin right here, this is the gateway drug. Don't ever get sick with a cold or a flu or you will become an addict like me. So, let's figure out how my addiction works, guys. All right, let's read some directions. It says, each soft gel contains Acetaminophen, 325 milligrams. Yeah, fucking right, what a scam. You mean 325 heroines. Dextromethophan, HBR, little r, 15 milligrams. That's probably the other 15 painkillers. And doxylamine succinate, 6.25, and that's when somebody tells you to suck it. Liver warning, apparently. <laughs> Apparently being on heroin is gonna fuck up your liver, this says. So, this is what I've been doing, guys. 
and then taking this like this at night, sometimes when I wake up. And I've been downing pills. And maybe I'm not even doing it right, you know, I guess the heroin addiction just kind of sneaks up on you. It's, uh, isn't heroin where you, you do something with a spoon or, Rumi, do you have a lighter? Do you have a lighter? I saw this on a commercial for Breaking Bad, I think. Don't they light a spoon? That doesn't look right. Do we have any lighters? I mean, I don't fucking have candles and nobody smokes. Or maybe I am, I just don't fucking even know it. I just, it's amazing that you can be addicted to something and not know. Well, a lot of people, they snort. But this has liquid inside. So I just, just... <sighs> Hold on, I'm choking. Ah! Am I supposed to light it up on a table, like... It looks easier when you see commercials for TV shows and movies. <laughs> oh, fuck! Ugh. Nobody tells you how addiction, how painful addiction is. That's not how you do that. Excuse me? That's not how you do that. How the fuck would you know? I'm sorry, are you the one that's addicted to pills? Did Jeremy write two long comments about your addiction? How the fuck would you know? No, you know what? I'm tired of this shit. You're always just telling me when I'm wrong, trying to stop me from sticking stuff up my nose. Well, you know what? You know what? Here, you be addicted. You go be addicted, okay? I'm not putting up with this abuse anymore, roommate, if that's who you really are. Yeah, that's right. Try to find the pill I just snorted out of my nose and threw at you. You know what? I'm done with this. I'm done with this expensive Snow White tiara you gave me. This is part of the addiction. This is part of it right here. You don't get your fix. You have withdrawal symptoms and you rage. You're seeing it firsthand. This is like an episode of HBO when they take you behind the scenes to show what people are doing. This is it. You don't even, you're not even paying attention, are you? You're not even paying attention to my addiction. You know what? Why don't you just get out of here? Just go on. Just get out. Just get out. I'm dramatically throwing this and hoping it doesn't hit anything. I will deal with my drug addiction issues by myself. You know, they say you have to be alone when you go in addiction recovery, and maybe it's because I don't have supportive people. You know what? Why don't you just get out of my house? Continue paying my rent and maybe utilities, but get out of my house. It's so hard, guys. Some people just don't understand addiction. And it's just, he'll never be able to be supportive. It's not like he hasn't paid rent and been incredibly nice to me. And I almost got away with it. If it wasn't for that Jared and his meddling, possible toothless hooker girlfriend. You know, let's break down. Let's watch again what I tried to get away with earlier and see how he caught me in it. Take a look. Okay, I love you guys, I'm going. I need to not film while I'm on cold medicine because I'm even crazier and goofier than normal. I don't know how this video is gonna turn out. Bye guys. Oh, by the way, real quick, side note conspiracy theory. We always knew it. This is the evidence. Joy's been huffing cold medicine. We knew it all the time. Nobody can be that fat and that energetic, but before she was fat, she was just forcing it for her audience, but now we know she's just been on cold medicine. Hashtag confirm, bitches. Yes! Bye. <laughs> you see? You see the manipulation tactic? Apparently, if I end up saying something, and, and the, the, because they're so, because people can be so silly, if I joke and say, there'll probably be a conspiracy theory about this, here's the thing. It's not like I'm joking. It's not like I'm sarcastic. Sarcasm doesn't even exist. What's really happening is I'm doing mind-controlling subliminal messages. So if I feed you the information like it's sarcasm or a joke, and not to be taken seriously, then none of you will take it seriously. And you will never see the facade that my super smart, over intellectual, smarter than you mind is creating. But Jared can't be fooled. 
And Jared sees through it. Because Jared knows the ultimate truth, that sarcasm has never existed. But I just wanted to let you guys know, and I wanted to show you firsthand what I've been doing. So thank you everybody who continues to watch and continues to support me. And please pray for me as I find a way to go to rehab and overcome these drug addiction issues. And if you want any advice on being a YouTuber, don't, what are you looking at? The fuck are you looking at? Don't ever, ever put yourself on YouTube. Because Jared will find you. And he will tell you information about yourself that may or may not be true. And you have to live with that. I love you guys. Godspeed on your journey. And I hope I can, I hope I can overcome my addiction issues. So, snort on. Before I go, guys, there's one thing I forgot. I'd like to list off Jewit's credentials in being able to deal with this because the truth is, he and his girlfriend have extensive knowledge about addiction. I would like to leave off with a conversation I had with Jewit about his girlfriend and about her former or possible recovery. So by the way, just know he knows what he's talking about. Take it away, Jewit. Are you scared for people to see her, like looking like she's on drugs or drunk? Are you scared? Are you scared for her to for people to see her missing teeth? Is let she just, insecure? Let me just. Con well, you're mooching off of your girlfriend, and you're an able-bodied dude. You're mooching off of her hooking money. That doesn't seem like a good quality like of life to me. Her burlesque cooking money. Come on, Jawid. Has she I had drug problems? The piece that, that was stated. Has she had drug problems in the past? She, because I think she said, didn't she say she was a like recovering addict, right? Former addict, I believe. Yeah, she's a recovering addict, but it's not. That's where her teeth went. <laughs> That's where her <laughs> teeth went. <laughs> I, know. I, knew it. It. I knew it. I knew it. Oh my Katie god. Oh my fucking god. Cunt. Oh, you... Katie, you chocolate fucking addictive you bitch. You fat, just disgusting piece of lard, white chocolate with curls in your hair. <laughs> Don't even try to compliment yourself in any capacity. Don't even try to compliment yourself. I never said you were cute. Oh, Jesus. Why weren't you drowned in a bathtub? Wait a minute. What's, isn't that a suicide threat? Like what happened with Kaylee? Isn't that you trying to threaten me with suicide? Trying to push me into suicide? What happened to a teeth, Joey? <laughs> what Ziv has made it very teeth? public. Her addiction was not substance. So what was it? What was, what was it? Oh, now you give a shit about actual facts? I think it's now funny, yeah. Yeah, I think it's funny. I wonder what happened to her to you. I mean, you've yet to prove that she's missing any teeth, right? That's how this works, right? The onus on she you. Doesn't have, she, she refuses to put pictures up where we can see it. If she, How about she proves I'll just do a smile. Just smile for us. Yeah. Remember you called her a 6 out of 10, which was funny. You gave her a D minus, basically. 